Hello, and welcome to the IT Convergence User Productivity Kit tutorial series. This tutorial will cover how to verify the context ID type captured by the UPK recorder. In application support can be deployed to the end user through help integration or smart help. Both options are context sensitive, meaning they can recognize the screen that the user is on, then launch the help section applicable to that step of a process. UPK uses two context-sensitive mechanisms to capture the context of the frames as UPK developer is recording. Target applications, such as Oracle EBS, use exact match and capture the exact content that the end user will see while viewing the player modes or while working in a live environment. UPK uses smart match for non-target applications. Smart match uses statistical analysis to rank the most probable content items and then generates a list of relevant content. The accuracy of in-application support through the use of do it mode launched within the Smart Help Toolbar button depends on how UPK Developer records the context type. The first step will be opening an existing topic or creating a new topic in which you would like to record. You'll notice that I opened a topic that I had previously created. After hitting the record icon, the recorder automatically launches. For this example, I simply opened my home page, which is google.com. I hit print screen to record my start frame. Notice in the top right hand corner of the recorder, there is a white circle. When I click in the Google search bar, the white circle becomes a blue circle with a white star. When the circle is white, it means the recorder recognizes no match for the context ID. When the bubble becomes a blue circle with a white star, it means the recorder recognizes smart match context ID. Next, I navigated to Oracle's eBusiness Suite. Since eBusiness Suite is a UPK target application, You'll notice that the bubble became a white circle with a blue dot. This indicates that the UPK recorder is capturing exact match context ID. After exiting eBusiness Suite, I then opened an Adobe PDF file. Adobe is not a UPK target application. Notice that while I am recording inside of Adobe, the bubble is a white circle. This indicates that no match context ID is being recorded. After capturing an image inside of Adobe, I closed all windows and hit finish to stop recording. This automatically relaunches UPK Developer. I clicked on the first frame, which had captured the Google homepage. I then clicked on the Context ID Toolbar button. The Context ID window is now displayed. The first line is the application name, and this will indicate what application was recorded. The second line is the context name. This will indicate which screen was captured during the recording. The last line is the Context ID type. This field will identify if UPK recorded with exact match, smart match, or no match context ID. Because Internet Explorer is a non-target application, this frame captured Smart Match Context ID. The next frame we'll look at recorded Oracle eBusiness Suite. Once again, I click the Concept ID Toolbar button. Since this frame captured Oracle's eBusiness Suite, the application name is Oracle, the content name is the Oracle application's homepage, and the context ID type is Exact Match. To view the context ID of the next frame, click on the Edit menu, then select Context ID from the drop-down menu. Notice that the context ID type says no match. This is because UPK does not recognize the context ID of the Windows Explorer start menu. Please note that some target applications will require additional setup steps to enable exact match context tracking. For instance, in earlier versions of VBS, a custom library folder must be deployed on the Oracle server to properly capture context. If this server is not deployed, 
UPK will not be able to capture the context, and the context name and type will not be identified. This will not apply to Oracle R12.2 or later upgrades. This concludes our tutorial on how to identify the context ID type of recorded content. On behalf of IT Convergence, I would like to thank you for your time and I invite you to join the IT Convergence YouTube channel where you can learn more about User Productivity Kit features and functions.